guitar lessons here back with another super interesting lesson this is an E minor pentatonic which is awesome because every guitarist who creates licks uh, either knowingly or unknowingly uses this um, most of them knowingly but it is super important for soloing as well um, so if something's in the key of G major it's relative minor is E minor so you can use this E minor pentatonic box to solo over a G major song and if it's in E minor, then you're good too. So that covers two keys that you can play and solo over once you get this down. Um, and the other cool thing is, so for the E minor, we're starting on the 12, right? Of the low E. So that is an E note. So if you move this um, up one fret, that's an F. That's the F minor pentatonic, it's the same shape. So you can do that all up and down the E so once you learn one pentatonic scale, um, you know all of them. You just have to know what the root note is. So this is A minor. This is going to be G minor. All right, guys, make sure you're following along with the diagram right there. But um, basically, it's a box. Uh, I'm going to teach you the very simple way to play it, which is two notes on each string. So... So 12th, 15th, 12th, 14th, 12th, 14th, 12th, 14th, 12th, 15th, 12th, 15th, 15th, 12th, 15th, 12th, 14th, 12th, 14th, 12th, 14th, 12th, 15th, 12th. So really slow. All right, guys, so you'll notice on that I played it forwards and backwards. Um, this is super important because when you're trying to solo, you don't wanna always have to play it from start to finish. You're gonna to wanna to throw in just a middle part, forward and backwards, or random notes from the pentatonic. They're not actually random, but just for the discussion purposes. So you wanna play it forward to backwards, forward to backwards, so you get fast at it and proficient at it, um, because you're gonna play that all up and down the fretboard in different keys. Um, so the best way to practice soloing once you've gotten the scales forward and backwards down is to look up a backing track like uh, blues E minor backing track, right? And then so you, you put, put the track on and then fool around, see what sounds right. Um, I literally spent hours and hours of just listening to backing tracks, um, you know, after I'd gotten the scale down and just went through and threw in some bends and hammer-ons and pull-offs or just played straight through the scale and figured out what worked and what didn't work. Um, there's so many videos on YouTube of backing tracks in every key uh, and some of them even have a diagram where you'll see the pentatonic in that diagram. Um, so stay for 30 seconds longer and I'll show you a clip of me soloing over an E minor pentatonic. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I can improve on. Thanks.